All right, guys, please, no spoilers. No spoilers, okay? Don't spoil. The best player in the world is Gearshot. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is fucking good with Pantheon. <laughs> so guys, um, Nate, five more minutes, what I want you to do, because you guys got a bit relaxed, right? I'm in this, like this. In these next five minutes, I want you guys to do like a, some sort of a pre-game routine or whatever, so you're ready to to try hard, and then the, the first game is not a PSI. Do you want to play ping pong? Or no, ping -pong? Or I can, yeah, sure, oh. but uh, oh. I'm a bit behind on the legend selection. Okay, I don't worry. Like I don't worry. That's it. Like, believe me, Oscar, come with me too. Okay, I'm gonna do faster for Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I talk? Dude, every time I talk, I I fight. Don't bully the new player. Oh shit. Fast, fast, fast. Take it, no fast. Oh wow. <laughs> So this is uh, this is fanatic for you. Sorry guys, the beats were a bit too hard. The beats were a bit too hard. What is it? Oscar! I saw earlier you were like with the bicep on camera. I think people got it. Actually, this one is really oh, shit. <laughs> so you have the right arm from. <laughs> Maybe Oscar needs to beat new victim. Actually, energy as well. You need to make him a You will be like this, but the more he goes here, he will be. He just stops. He baits him. It's pretty good. Reckless just baits him. I mean, the vibe is much better than any other split. The two rookies are like coming in like with high motivation. They are like really motivated to actually play the game. They play a lot. They are, in my opinion, continuously improving and learning in our scrims. I think our practice has gotten much better. We won more scrims in like one week than the entire split last, last yeah, winter. Uh, get in the mood of practice and try hard because we only had maybe two or three games. So I want to ask for you every game and no leak again. Oh. No leak, don't worry. Uh, I, mean, I mean, no. Pardon. Nothing else other than me, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, daddy! <laughs> 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 that's good for me in my life. Where is my mommy? Yeah, coach! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should pra practice Senna, Sion. <laughs> <laughs> no, practice. Yeah, I know. Senna, Sion, Cartoon Channel. Wow. Oh. Oh. It's actually, it's actually... Oh, I mean, uh, we could. <laughs> no, but... Okay, let's... Uh, Oscar <laughs> is here. <laughs> you, you have the combo on the issue. Oh, that's my oldest. Oscar is here, so let's start. Let's okay. start. I'm just cooking. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you one yeah. more responsibility. This guy. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's a local, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. You guys, what you mentioned before, right? Um, yeah. I want to pay attention to where he at, is at and being more uh, on the same page. Of, you know, like I want to be on the same side, etc. Et mm -hmm. So Lane and this guy. For Reckless and Advien, I'm... I have to say already, like... Nightshare seems so much more... Natural, you know? Seems so much more natural, you know, the interactions. Than what we saw from, like, the previous split, where everything feels so stiff, you know? It actually feels like he has, like, an active relationship, and... The conversations... It sounds... It sounds like um, bad, but the co cooperations are like very. It sounds human, you know. Extremely. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. I this that I think we can go against any bot line in in EU. At the end, is doing a lot of work with Reckless on bot. Like they are like talking a lot about matchups and what they are comfortable on, what they are not comfortable on, what they think it's like really strong and what's meta. And I think they actually know pretty well what they're doing so that's like really positive yeah, let's see if we are able to perform with them in stage and like apply what we have been practicing in scrims these days so far how it will look this weekend is every time i see advin we play for example 18 
then we usually meet four hours in office before that because you guys have sh shuttle or we're moving two hours before the official game start so we'll, uh, we'll have like two hours in which we will eat in which we will do draft meeting to scout scouting and then we play one solo to we'll warm up for me what is the worst thing that teams and players can do possibly is if we have a bad weekend just run home and stay alone and sort of you know not not overcome those feelings as a team because then it kind of you guys can kind of di distance yourself from from each other and that's exactly how you should not be handling uh, like bad emotions and loses the inclusion of advian and nature have changed the environment the dynamic of the team like we feel really in a sense like free going like it's just really easy to be around these players the team is like really connected outside of the game and i think it's actually working like really good like the board games that we are doing they are so fun we just interact with each other, have fun with each other. Those we are the board games I ordered, man. Board game Secret Hitler. We play like maybe one or two games sometimes after streams to like have fun a little It's bit. funny, like if you don't know, if, if you don't know Secret Hitler, it does sound weird to hear it. Maybe we order like food and then we eat together. We drink, we talk, we also have fun. But it's a really fun ball game. <laughs> oh, I, can, I can check your room. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I gave my choice and I got two reds. <laughs> 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 you gave me two reds, this motherfucker. No, no, no. Trust me, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Hank, you know I'm right. Yes. Take a breath. <laughs> look, look, okay, look. Yeah. Don't, Don't play with me. Don't play with me. No, no, you guys know, know this is a yeah, bad yeah. guy. That's I believe. Yeah, yeah I agree. That's my echo so much. No. Oh, we're so fun. This guy is the worst thing. Radvin just looks like logic. It looks like logic, no? The rapper. In my time in Fnatic, I never had this uh, <laughs> feeling where I was like, okay, I can say whatever to the team, and they, we are just a unit, you know? It's like not five different players, we are a unit. That's the meaning of the team for me. Right now I'm starting to feel that way, so it's like pretty positive. It's not like a stressful, nervous environment. It's, it's, it's really... It's just good. Uh, so I think definitely this is something that's coming from Thomas, from Nightshare. Just the way he is as a coach and as a human, it's just easy to talk to him and it's just easy to be around him. So that's definitely nice. This also makes me perform better <laughs> because if I feel like I'm in an environment where no it's one important. is judging me, if I am like doing like a mistake or something, and I want my teammates to feel that way, you know? I, I like <laughs> Yo, Hiva, we have to go shopping. I need matching shirt with you. Actually, but you need to go out there. I don't want this basic shit. You need to yes, go. yes, I will go out there. I don't fucking care, bro. Just, was it like a mana drink? <laughs> I don't fucking know. It didn't look, bro. Did, it, did it give you a boner for six hours? So basically, what he was talking about was that the performance coach. The previous, the performance coach is no longer with the team. He basically, I don't know what it was, because it was like some blue drink you mix with water. And I'm not sure what it was. I think it was electrolytes. Electrolytes? I think it was just electrolytes. <laughs> if you don't know, you have, an, uh, you have a problem. Stop laughing! It was like a little, a little <laughs> mana <laughs> potion. <laughs> Why is this guy crying? I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but it's oh, shit. My eyes are wondering. You're that you're hey, that hey, Oscar, it's fine, bro. Don't get nervous. It's fine. You're that funny, bro. You've player. been replaced, Hank. What? Again? Oh, already? Bro. This time I don't can need I, to play I, one game. Can I have a massage? Bro, it's insane. Like, I played in a team with Freeze, and I've met Freeze so many times. Like, this guy is exactly like Freeze. It's so fucking confusing, that They are so, <laughs> like, they are, it's so insane, man. It's crazy to me. I know they're twins. 
Where's my pillow? Right, Why don't Cassie. you bring your pillow? Oh, I forgot. Do you remember Cassie Martin? I don't know uh, Freeze's brother good it's enough to like really characterize his personality. I don't even know Freeze is good enough. Oh, legend. Look, this is perfect. Nah, I'm lost. <laughs> Oh, you can't keep flashing the window. Fuck! Oh! Get the camera! Why did you throw it there? Is that anything? Yeah, that's good. Holy hell, it's so fucking hot. Oh. And if anything feels off, just say. We can have anything changed or fixed. Um. It feels bad because. Instantly tell you to check is uh, mouse settings on the Windows. Can you talk? Something that is like uh, messy. Like a lot of teams were sick the first weekend. The first weekend, a lot of teams were sick. A lot of players were sick. Like apparently, it's he's he's sick here. You know. Kaska, hello. hello. Okay. Is your volume good? Like you need some changes? I think the background noise is a bit too high. Oh, that that you can change. Okay, then, then that's fine. Like, uh, do you hear me good? Do you hear everyone yeah, good? Okay. Do you, uh, you want to hear yourself like a little bit less? Yeah. Okay, then put Oscar like five per In my experience always, it's like... In my experience when I'm dealing with players that are stressed, it's like... I try to talk about it less. And... I, I, my, my, my trick is always to reframe it in the context of your physiology, right? Basically, your physiology is where your reaction comes in, right? And the way your body functions in terms of your thoughts and your, your feelings, they are heavily affected by your physiology, Right? When someone says they are nervous and they have butterflies in the stomach, or uh, like an example, right? So usually like these, these displays of stress, people know how they feel within the body, right? Like the best thing you can do is to take control over your physiology again. And the easiest way to do that is to breathe. Either do box breathing, or do the Andrew Huberman tech. You do... Basically, you breathe in through your nose three times and out. You hold it and then out. You take control of your own physiology again and then you can begin to navigate yourself. Because the feeling of stress is synonymous with... Like, that anxiety is synonymous with, of course, excitement. Which is the positive version of the same experience. And the main thing is finding ways to be balanced, right? Finding a way to be balanced. And the best way is to take control of your own physiology, okay? Percent less, his own voice. How's the setup feeling? It's fine. I mean, I'm feeling a bit weird, but like the normal weird, I no. guess, for the first time. Yeah, I've been on the like, once you get into the game, it will get better. I mean, chat with Oscar, who obviously feels like if you get a shot at LEC, it's like, oh, I need to do super well right now, or else I will forever not have my chance. And I'm really trying to make him clear that, you know, he just has to focus on the process and feeling good in the moment. And then if you feel relaxed and you feel comfortable, then most good things will flow from that rather than the pressure you put on yourself, which will probably make it worse. You know, I'm really trying to help him with that, but it's not easy sometimes because I feel like he's someone that struggles with his emotions in quiet. And I don't want to be the guy that like kind of tries to pull it out of him because I don't think that's my place. I, I think I try to do my best uh, helping everyone. Okay, Roger. Get a mechanic. 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 This split, we will show everyone, you know, that we will surprise them. That we're a good team and you guys are good players. And again, you know, like, if someone 
is a bit spaced out or whatever, help that guy out. That's, that's my know? voice in the back, by the way. Focus that's on so scary. Uh, been building so far. Remember to keep always talking, like no matter what happens. Show that we can do the steps we've been practicing in scrims so that we have actually good habits. And no matter what happens, just keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. What wave are we playing on? Are we, which side are we going to? Just show the steps. The most important part for me is have fun. You know, in, in the end, you're playing the game that we're playing normally in office and at home. And this is what you live for. You know, like enjoy it. Grasp, grasp the moment and enjoy it. Okay. And let's fucking win. Yes, sir. Okay. Fuck them in the ass. <laughs> up, 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 what up, do we do? Up. Three, up, up, two, up. one. Fuck nice! nice! It was very uncoordinated. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we practice for We have to practice. Now we know it's up. Good luck, guys. Now we know it's up. What do you mean? You're, you guys are doing down? How do you do down? Why do you go down? Why do you go down? down? Yeah, why do you yeah, down go down? I'm not sure what's the shape right now of Excel, but I mean, for sure we can, like, beat Excel. We didn't have a lot of time, in my opinion. I think if we had one extra week or something like that, it will have been like 10 times better. We will be much more ready, but it is what it oh, is. And I think actually the time that we had, we actually used it pretty good. I think everyone is coming this weekend. With bro, like the music really is so good vibes now. So like I don't know, bro. It's like a cliffhanger. Anyone. You just need to play good, play as a team, do, do the correct map moves. And then if we don't break our hands, then we will win. Phone in my pocket. But this thing doesn't detect it. Oh, it does. Oh my, it's got there, man. Shit. Now it's gonna be rough. Hmm? Yeah, let's do it, man. Oh. Odo one minute. Putting its face into his opposition as Humanoid caught out. Reckless gets the Dragon Ball Fnatic. Humanoid on the back line being isolated. Oscar in trying to do what he can against three members of XL. Fnatic already lost one as Humanoid is down. Oscar in builds up the Megano and XL are on the wrong side of the rip. Razzle going forward, hits the stun onto BTO. Oscar in trying to get in, but once again, the Nah falls short and Fnatic fall down. Reckless dives in, stunned up, locked up, shut down. And Odo is still tanking. This man just refuses to die. Razzle can add the end, force dash away. Oscar in and caught underneath his Nexus towers that have already been raised to the ground. Alright, let's see the reaction. Winter. Normally we are like much more, I don't know, much more pressuring, much more trying to fight, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know, I felt, I just, I don't know, it felt really awkward because I felt like we were so strong and any fight we take was good, but we just didn't get it. It just felt awkward. But uh, we just have to look at it and then we see from there. We should be either first on the, or on the objective or do what we did on the fourth trade, where we just walk in and start hitting the objective ourselves and we force them to go on us, right? Mm -hmm. And then we actually got a good fight for once. That fight will probably win 9 out of 10 times, or if we call it off, the game is over, right? We got the Drake, they were in our jungle running for their lives. You guys can if run If we pull that off, yeah. we just push the waves and reset, they're fucked. Like there was nothing after that. We should just have never chase them, I think that was just bad. And in scrims we will probably make the better call there. Right? Maybe my ults were like not good, but I feel like we played so fucking shit, like we played so fucking scared. And in scrims we are like fighting when we have to fight, and maybe sometimes we are fighting more than we should, right? And I feel like in this game, we like people were not talking, like they were not looking for opportunities, because I think that what happened to you, Oscar, because I think like I could even hear it in your voice. Like you were really fucking afraid, you know, and it's normal. It's your first LEC game, you know, play the Oscar that you do all the time in fucking scrims. And if you die 20 times because you are like disrespecting the enemy, I prefer that than you dying 20 times because you're playing afraid. <laughs> I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Don't sweat too much about the game. Honestly? No, it's fine. That's alright. Like, we just, we just spoke just a little bit about this shit game happens, yep. you know? Yeah, tomorrow is another day. It's just was the first game and tomorrow will be better. How do you feel about this one? Because the, the, the pattern seems to be repeating, right? In the fight, how we fight. I think we can talk about it a bit more, but what I felt in the game is I was saying exactly what we needed to do, like we just need to go on the front line, hold the one target and then play with Talia. We mis-executed with the lead that we got on, on bot lane. Uh, we executed a dive and that should be just that we keep on piling up on bot lane, snowballing, taking dragons, uh, using bot lane to take over the map. We didn't do that 
And then in team fights, we mechanically played quite horrible. So we had some really good takeaways as a team from yesterday's game. It was kind of a choke game. Although when I was playing, I felt really comfortable on the stage. I, I was really confident coming in because because the scrims, oh, like I think I was performing really well. And I knew that if I would just do the same thing hours. I would do in scrims, that we would kind of win at least bot lane. You know? 14, that is what hours. happened. And we got like a gigantic lead on bot, from which I think if we just kept playing into bots, we would have just ended the game, so there were some sloppiness in early game decision making where if we snowball our lead on bot better uh, as a team, then uh, we can already kind of win the game before we make mistakes, if that makes sense. They kind of kept winning fights and at some point they won one or two fights and we also misplayed them kind of mechanically. Maybe it's stage nerves, but obviously we have... You know, I think Excel has a players, much easier comp to execute. Yes, I would kind of attribute it that we've had people who are not feeling 100%. We've had some sickness running around in, in the office. The flu because season. It's, it's yeah, the twin brother of Freeze. We can get over it and yeah, I'm sure we can show better mechanical performances going forward. So you have everything. You have a tea on your table. And I have a smoothie, which looks like kind of weird, but it's a smoothie. It looks really bad, I'm but it's good you, probably. You it, but... Yeah. So that's how we do it. Smoothie, tea, water, and vitamin C juice. Yeah. This thing, again, a reminder, everything will be kind of regarding Drake. They are AFK on the map. They're sort of like just farming. Once the Drake, once the Drake come up, they want to take the zone, they want to fight. So always in the Drake, just focus on the fight itself and position. Yesterday we showed the, the steps that we can do them. If we are faster on the map, then either commit on the dive or take the tempo, take the reset go cross map right and then on fight i am very mindful uh, i am very mindful basically do you use these opportunities to gauge like the state of mind of of your players you know and kind of give them energy if um if uh, there's a necessity for it or so forth but usually it's like it's important that the concepts are very simple words and reminders you know that so it becomes very very ritual based yeah because they are explaining good concepts, but it sounds very different always, you know? And I think in, in that, it doesn't have the same effect. Right. Let's talk about fighting before the actual fight, so we can be on the same page on how to actually play it out. Uh, yeah. Don't Let's go. Pressure, because a lot of times you guys had so much time. <coughs> Let's go. For nothing on free. Up, 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 up. Who is doing? Is it on free? One, two, three. The one, two, three. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> it's weak. It's weak. It's weak. So for today, for SK, uh, SK is definitely like one of mm. the top teams in a sense, like top, top top five. Their bot lane is really strong. Exeki and Dos has been performing like. One they have top to top hope that Koi and in, uh, in I still think we can beat them. Team Heretics are gonna give them some I breathing room. They played good in the split. They just have had really good read on the meta last split and they were like playing really good around bot and the bot lane was playing really good so they got many wins because of it i don't think they are like doing anything crazy or they're like insane players you know they are good players but i think we can beat anyone honestly <laughs> You look better with glasses on. I don't think I do. Actually. I think you do. I think I don't. You saying I don't have enough class? <laughs> Certus is working his way up here as well, as is Doss. Marcoon going in, trying to keep Basil and Oscar in and around. Honestly, respect to Fnatic for showing the part of the game where the game is just completely over like they don't show any anything they don't show the bot gangs they are like just straight cut to the point this is where they completely lost the game <laughs> that is that is gangster that is cold respect TP coming in razzle got the need for tower flash the wake ledge prison connects dots with the lantern gets Malkoon out and the cannon barrage not quite enough damage to kill off the SK jungler. Humanoid going forward, Zertus flashes away, the hook connects from Doss, and now they're going on to Humanoid, but he still has his flash from earlier on. Oscar in and eats some oranges in his cave, but the rest of his team is not. Two for reckless dying. Zertus had a fantastic week one. 
but not in a 1v2 in the Rift Herald now charging forward. Oscar winning left for Dust. Irrelevant dashing in, flashing forward. Pinto from SK though, Irrelevant coming in from the bottom side of this fight. Humanoid shuffles him in, but he just delivers the crocodile to his backline. Humanoid slides, Irrelevant inserts is unstoppable. Oscar winning dies once again. Said that a lot so far this weekend, but it's been a struggle for him and it's been a struggle for Fnatic. Advian down as well. Certus flashing forward, looking for Reckless. A side shove will lock him down. A triple for Certus. Once again, a weekend to remember for the I have good on my second monitor. Well forward, trying to catch out Razor, not allowing Fnatic to get out alive. No one survives. The stun will land a threaded body over the wall into one more. And that's enough for SK to take the ace and to look to close out this game. It just felt weird, like, I don't know, maybe I was just... I thought I was in a different universe. We just have sick people. I felt like we did the thing again where we were like winning really hard bot and we could just kind of go back bot. Because I'm in Q, was, I'm in Q. I was uncoordinated with even kind of again, you know. We dove, we got That's killed so bot, and we got killed bot and after that the game, like, we just kind of... In a pickle, because our whole con like... We need to be in their face for them to engage and then we win. And if we're behind, we can't do that, so we're, we're just losing. They were camping top, we were camping bot. We were like really strong on both sides. And they were like, the Renek Tom power spike with a Gore Drinker, we kind of need to like leave him. But he was like really even because he's GP, he was way clearing. After the top play, I think we kind of threw the game a lot. But then I feel like we are just like not talking. I should get ganked like that. And yeah, I mean, I think that dumpster him a bit. And being that I had, and after the top play with the land that I feel it was pretty. Honestly, this game, he did a crucial mistake of not slow pushing wave four, five, six hard enough. And, um, and then he didn't abandon when Renekton was freezing the wave and they didn't TV back. And this was like a crucial mistake, but he almost could get solo kill and he stayed even in the game. I think that that's like cool, right? It's like the swing of the timer where they try to defend the top die because you don't have a play on board. Like that was just game losing, you know? It's like game one and two of Fnatic, it's like there were certain things that were unlucky, let's say. Then I get scared, but I think we were mega behind to point honestly. Yeah, I think the game against SK, it was definitely off to a good start. And we were having like good lane in bots, I think. And then we also managed to kill their support like two or three times at some point. The enemy did a rotation that we kind of didn't expect or where we weren't in sync to defend the play on top. And they all dove us there, and so we lost a lot there. And then I tried to dive kind of bot lane as a response because I, I felt like if I don't do anything now, you know, we're screwed. And that also went wrong. I feel like that game, if we play a bit better together or play a bit more patient or maybe a bit more just around bot, um, where we were already winning, then we could have definitely won it. So I just feel like we're making mistakes that didn't happen in practice, so we're kind of, you know, surprised. And also, it just doesn't help the fact that Martin has probably fever. He's looking like a ghost the entire day. And Marek was getting sick as well that day. He felt bad. And we just had two people that recovered from, I think, relatively heavy illness, I'd say. So I think that threw a spanner in the works a lot as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, we hear people coughing, I hear people coughing on stage, you know, and I think that, it, I mean, it, it maybe didn't help for the Excel game already, and then that loss kind of carried into the SK game, I suppose. Yeah. Damn, fucking walking into Cyberpunk. Welcome to Cyberpunk City, next destination. Hey, Hotter. <laughs> Check fans here. Oh, yeah, check fans. Sweet fucking fans. 
Let's do a quick paddle. Yeah. 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 They're not making excuses. Like they're not making excuses as for why they lost. Right? They just. I, I can understand the, the the feel, the need to feel to share that you have players that are actually sick. You know. So you can just take that. Um, you you take that with you when you make the estimation on how you want to judge uh, the level of the team. I don't think no one's making excuses here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys, you know, who are staying here from last split, feel the pressure of being zero two. You might have, you know, had the thought of, oh my God, it's happening again. We're losing. We don't we don't know how to win. Uh, honestly, I want to say we have three newcomers. We're not the same team as you guys were. And we have a winning formula. You guys showed us that you know how to win. We just need to show that on stage as well. And you know how to win. Some of you might even be saying, you know, like, oh, if they're doing poorly this split, my career is over or I'm fucked. I mean, oh. what I want to say to these guys is it's in your hands. You know, just take it game by game and do your best. It's in your hands. What I want to hear from you after the game, no matter the result, I want to hear I did my fucking best, you know? No regrets. One, two, three! But, but it's us. Ah, <laughs> so, so many <laughs> I'm actually not sure how my competition will be. It's all about how they adapt and how well they can play because sometimes like, I feel like individual talent doesn't really matter if you don't have the team cohesion. Oops, that's yeah, I, I think... I think it's important to be careful about it's it's like it depends on who you talk to right but bringing up negatives even it's like it's much easier for me to make you think appropriately and good by moving in that direction rather than telling you all the things that are bad and what you shouldn't think so there's um an element of be, be careful of like giving your players thoughts, negative thoughts to linger over, you know? It's fine to have those conversations on an individual basis, depending on what your relationship is. And of course, in the end, you know, I don't know what kind of conversations they had before, so I don't want to put them on the spot. I'm just saying what, what I, I prefer to do. Probably the best thing. Like for example, there was this moment, right? It's like, I, I could see the first time we played against RNG because they were the favorite to win the tournament after winning MSI and winning the league, right? 2018. I could feel in the way the players communicated and their demeanor that they didn't think wholeheartedly uh, that they could win, okay? So basically, right after what I did, you know? Right after, in review what I did, I was just fucking shouting at them. I was shouting at them for every fucking good thing. And then I said, look, these two things don't happen and we have a fucking competitive game and we fucking, we're going to be in a position where we can actually dominate and we can beat the team that you guys are afraid of. What are you afraid of? And then it's like, before we went on stage, I told them, uh, I told them, I, I don't know, someone like mentioned like the odds of us winning. And I was like, you know, the odds of each and one of us being born is like non-existent. The odds of, uh, of, of each and one of us being good at League of Legends is almost non-existent. The odds of us being together in this moment is almost non-existent. And you want to talk to me about some fucking percentiles? Fuck the percentiles. And the, the main thing was I, I needed to reframe, this was specific to my players, specific to my players because of their experience. And then we walked into that game, we picked Draven, we picked Rise, you know, the RNG was very disrespectful, you know? And the whole idea was, I recognize a, a problem and I nurtured everything leading up to that moment before stage in a very specific manner. It's like the whole review was me just being fucking angry at them and showing them all of the good things they did. So it's like, of course, it requires finesse. I'm just sharing what I would do. 
so I don't want to... This was 2018 before we played against RNG the second time where we won, we beat them. Lady Curry in the league. It's in a way always scary, especially when you come into LEC new, kind of, to play a player like that. I think Vitality is just in general a very strong mechanical team and they will try and skill check you. And in the same way, I think that's kind of what I play for, you know. If I'm not excited to play against the best and try to beat them, then what am I doing here, you know? I'm really excited and I think we can still do well, even against a bot lane like that. And I think what I really like from this uh, spring version of Vitality, they seem to be coordinating very well. On the same page, the Roams have come out. Oscar in it has locked inside once again, taken down before he can get that second charge of the ulti. Reckless knocked back with the barrel, and he's taken down. Empress Divide buys enough time to keep Upset alive, and another kill secured. Upset stepping forward, has the clans available to him. Perks manages to get the scoop. Oh, the, the star dude, part. It's a double kill already for Bo. Make that Reed a triple. Connect. They didn't put me in. Yeah, no, just like, oh, like, you can't get the map of the What is happening, Ruf? Ideally, you can perma push in the wave, right? And then you're fine scaling, kind of. But they landed some poke, and then we also didn't have vision on jungle. And then it was at some point you were kind of frozen on. It was really hard to <coughs> crash without drifting. Uh, I think the matchup is just hard. Also, I think you don't outskill. The mid, mid plane on the other, we kind of completely sold our bot. Yeah, I know, but uh, I felt like we were fucked anyways. They had a stacking wave and we didn't really have a way to cover it. Maybe we should have went under the tower. Sucks to go offering, but it's not over yet, honestly. I think this one was on me. I had a wrong read on the draft on bot lane and I thought we could just perma push them in with the ash but it's it Maybe was a lot harder on all of us you know it for sure blows right excel is a game we should for sure have won and then we would be in a good spot to take top eight at the very least um which would give us more time to develop into uh, whatever form we could reach and then sk sure that's a team that looked a bit better um but if you would win that one that would be grand, you know. But also, I think teams that we should be able to easily beat, like Astralis, maybe BDS, Heretics. I think Astralis got some good wins on the board. Um, so that means we're also going to have to do that. If they can do it, then we should be able to do the same thing. And so, yeah, I feel like for us, if we just get to this early phase and we get like a little bit of momentum right now as a group, then. If we can get to the playoff situation, we can definitely go a lot further than where we will end maybe in the regular split. I'm still enjoying myself, even though we lose, and I'm trying to at least spread the happiness where I can. You know? Hope dies last. And I think the pressure was already there, in a social media sense, I suppose. But I told myself, like, I'm not going to read anything social media until the split ends. And the little slivers I see, they are really surprising to me. Everyone has their own emotions and everyone's invested in their own ways. So I'm just going to focus on creating the best process I can to have the best like routine and schedule and work so I can perform the best and I can play the best on stage. There is a chance that perhaps this could affect other players who are looking at it, I don't know. We have Oscar, you know, 19 year old rookie, you know, who has extremely big shoes to fill, you know, and everyone around him, like we, we believe that he is a great top laner. He just needs time to get adjusted. Obviously to all fanatic fans, I just like to remind to everyone that yes, again, we are here to win. We are here to do whatever it takes, but I'd like to, again, just, just emphasize that Everyone working with Fnatic, we are humans at the end of the day. We are gonna make mistakes, we are gonna sometimes fail, but at the end of the day, we'll. There's know, an reflect, Easter egg there. We'll learn, we'll, we'll grow, but again, we are human. So before, you know, going into whatever social media, before hitting that send button, just think twice. If you would write something like that, I don't know, to your friend or to someone, but yeah. Honestly, like the general feeling is at least, you know, I think with a different level of expectations, I, I like the conversations at least seem to be centered around like mistakes and potential improvement. And I think when, when they talk about other teams, keep in mind that these, these te they have actually scrimmed against them. Right. And I heard like, I heard like that Fnatic was actually doing fine in scrims. 
Shaves seen more present last year. Well, like me and Shaves, we we would legit every day sit in calls like for hours. We would just sit in calls for hours every day. End of the day, we would sit in calls for hours. Me and Shaves are like this, dude. Like like this. I I, I don't think. I don't think he's being utilized the same way. Because Shades is one of those once in a lifetime guys for me that I know that I always want to work with. And like Fnatic was has been doing a lot better in scrims than they did on stage. I can tell you that for sure. And on the flip side, I know that Astralis was doing quite poorly in scrims, right? But in the end, scrims isn't all that matters. It's like execution on the day and um you know, the plan coming into it and the idea of momentum is so, so important. Because I think at the end of the day, right, the game against XL, like, they were playing a not-so-easy draft to execute in my mind. I think they fucked up the top dive, they fucked up some mechanical things, the mechanical fights were quite poor, but they needed to perform really high and really well mechanically in order for the comp to work. Yeah, it's like Mad Lions have been bad in scrims ever s even when they won back-to-back -back finals. In 2021, you know, we were like 20 and 0 against Mad Lions and scrims. Like, we never lost games against uh, Mad Lions. It was uh, non-existent. Why are you guys talking shit to Mephisto, man? Show some respect. We are very blessed to, to have an environment where uh, people in the scene, like Mephisto and some pro players are coming to swing by. Don't uh, like try to alienate people with your shit opinions. I, 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 have, I have probably the channel with the least amount of banned people in chat on all of Twitch. And I would keep that way. Keep it that way. But we will not tolerate. We will not tolerate BS.